<laughs> oh, that takes me back. What is up, guys? AshBFC here, and welcome to a brand new series. Welcome to Retro Sunday. So it's a very simple series. In fact, it's very similar to Bloody Sunday. The only difference is, rather than playing a different violent video game each week, I'm going to be playing a different retro game each week. The absolute classics, the 8-bit games, the 16-bit games, the games from my childhood. I pretty much just get to be a little kid again doing this series, and I'm going to have so much fun. And I really hope it's going to be a nice blast of nostalgia for some of you guys as well, because that's what it's all about. It's all about that nostalgia. So anyway, we're going to be kicking this first episode off with, well, as you can no doubt tell in the background, Sonic the Hedgehog, which was released in 1991 on the Sega Mega Drive. When I was just two years old. Wow. But the reason I want to start off with this uh, game right here is because this is a very special game to me. In fact, it's the game that made me a gamer. Now, before this, I did have, well, me and my brother, we had the NES, which is my first console, but I was a little bit too young to really appreciate it. I mean, I used to, I did like it. I played a little bit of Mario Bros. We had this terrible Simpsons game and a wrestling game, but I wasn't properly into it. But then the Mega Drive came along, me and my brother got that, and we got Sonic with it and I was absolutely amazed. It was the coolest game I'd ever seen. Of course, the 16-bit graphics looked amazing. It was a huge leap back then, over 8-bit, and I just couldn't believe the speed of it. I didn't know games could go this fast. And it was just so much cooler than Mario, and yeah, I was hooked uh, straight away from you know then on, and I just wanted to play all sorts of different video games, and yeah, it made me a gamer, so it's a very special game to me. So here we go. Let's see how far I can get in the next 15 minutes. What do you reckon? Zone 3? And one Chaos Emerald? Hey, who can remember the cheat? What's the cheat? Up, down, left, right. Oh, I failed! But you can remember the cheat? Up, down, left, right, A start. I'll never forget that cheat. I know a lot of people remember the Konami code. I can't even tell you what it is. But up, down, left, right, A start will always be the cheat I remember. But oh, just listen to that music. Listen to that. Seriously, I'm five years old again. I am five years old again. <laughs> oh, man. What an absolute classic this is. Incredible game, even all these years later. But God, I sucked at this game when I was a kid. Because it was, uh, you know, as I said, I was used to the NES and Mario. I wasn't used to the speed. I couldn't handle it. And I could never really, I think, what did I used to get to? Uh, I think it was, um, what's it called? Spring Yard Zone? I could never get past the uh, Robotnik fight on that. You know, he comes down with a spike, taking the platform away. I wasn't quick enough. I had appalling reaction times. Yeah, I think, is it 100 rings and we get a, a one-up? Here we go, this is like a little... I forgot what you call this thing, but... It basically allows you to get hit without uh, losing rings. A little defense barrier thing. Da -na -na -na. You're gonna have to excuse me, sing along to the music. I can't help it. I can't help it. Ah, we got a bonus ring. Yeah, I think you've got to have... I think it's 50 rings. Uh, as you pass the end for that r big ring to appear. You think I'd remember this, the amount of times I've beat this game. So here we go. This used to drive me insane as a kid. Could never do it. You see this thing rotates round and you've got to get to the Chaos Emerald and break away these little block things. But you've got to watch out you don't fall into the, um, the little pit things. Otherwise you fail. <laughs> With it constantly rotating as well. Oh, I did it! Wow! Well, I guess that first one is an easy one, but they get freaking way harder. There you go, I got a Chaos Emerald. So for this game, it was um, three zones, well, three stages in each zone or whatever. And then you got a, uh, you know, you got Robotnik fight in the third. I preferred it when they just went with a, with the two, in uh, Sonic 2 and 3 and Knuckles. Sonic like and Knuckles and stuff. Did you do three zones in uh, three stages in the advanced games? I can't remember. I played those for ages. But good God Almighty Sega, what did you do to my Sonic? Oh, it's depressing, isn't it? <laughs> I don't ever want to see a Sonic game made again. Sonic, uh, Sega just completely and utterly destroyed Sonic. There's no coming back, is there? It's done. I mean, they pretty much killed it after Sonic 06, but. In all fairness, Colors was a pretty solid game, and Generations was really good, but I guess, you know, Generations was just reusing all the old Sonic stuff, so... But god almighty, Sonic Boom. Are you kidding me, Sega? Hey, Go on, can I get the ring? So I get two Chaos Emeralds. I think my favourite Sonic game... ...has to be Sonic 2. I love that game. I think I got that for my 6th birthday. 
I was so happy. Right, which way are we going? Which way are we going? I don't know. Oh, we're going down. Oh no, is that um? Is that? No, that's uh, that's a fail thing. Are we going this way? Oh yeah, those R's. If you hit, okay, no, we're not going this way. Yeah, if you hit those R's, it rotates as well. Plus, you've got those spring things you bounce off. You really don't have much control. It's oh! I had no idea which way to go there. I don't think I got all the Chaos Emeralds until I was about like 13 or something. <laughs> I could not do it as a kid. I didn't have the patience, to be honest. All right, I see you there. Oh, invincibility! Dun, dun, dun. Alright, we got it. Alright, we were meant to. Uh, I think we we're meant to spin through that. We didn't actually a spin dash in this game. They introduced that in um, Sonic 2. So if you want to sort of spin and go, you've got to get some speed going and then press down. Oh, go through one of these. Oh God, you cheeky spring! You see that? Run straight into it. Oh God, watch out for the spiky log. Dun, 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 dun. I remember there was another cheat you could put into this game. Me and Maru did it when we were kids. We have no idea how we did it. It was like some sort of debug mode, and you could switch Sonic into various different um, enemies and stuff. I think even some of the like objects, like spikes. I think we were just bashing away at buttons, and then it happened, and we could not believe it. We were blown away because we were flying around as one of those little bee things, one of those wasp things there. Not sure how we did it though. So here we go. First Robotnik fight ever. When did he become Eggman? He he'll always be Robotnik to me. I think the first time I heard him called Eggman was Sonic Adventure. But he's always Robotnik to me. This is a really easy one though. He's just swinging his ball. That's all he's got. Maybe just one more hit. What do you reckon? Haha. <laughs> Lovely goes all bright red there and then shoots off. Alright. We did it. Free the animal buddies. Alright, we've done zone one. I think I might actually struggle to get to zone uh, three. I'm not going quick enough here. But yeah, this is from the days when most games, well, especially platforms and stuff, there were no saving. No checkpoints. You had to do them all in one go. Games were friggin' tough back then. Most games are offensively easy these days. I mean, don't get me wrong, we do have some hard ones, like the Soul series comes to mind, but most of them, you know, they, they hold your hand, they tell you exactly where to go. You got checkpoints every five seconds, save wherever you want. You know, they just. There's not much challenge anymore. I mean, some of the old classics like on the NES were so freaking hard. Sometimes I go back and play these games, and I'm like, I don't remember them being this hard when I was a kid. Alright. I got lava. I remember this This is all right. It all reminds me of a time when um, I was going on holiday. I was going like, to Spain or something for two weeks. And before we set off to airport, I was playing, playing the Mega Drive, playing this game on this zone. And then we went, and I forgot to turn my Mega Drive off. So it was on for two straight weeks. When we come back, I went into the games room we used to have, where all the consoles were, and uh, I realized Sonic was still on on this zone. I was like, oh crap, I've left it on for two weeks. Now the, the, the console had crashed, it had frozen, but I just reset it and it was still working. I thought I'd have broke it, but do you think that you could do that with today's consoles? Like put on a PS3 or PS4, Xbox, Xbox One? You, let, you think if you left it on for two weeks straight, would it not like overheat and die? I don't know. Maybe they'd be all right, but I really thought I would have broke the Sega. Well, no electricity bills would be through the goddamn roof, wouldn't they? Oh god. I still remember where most secrets are as well. A bunch of rings here. Extra life. Is that two extra lives because I just got um 100 rings. I love how, how intense some of the uh, boss fights could be in this game. Oh god. Like, you know, if you've, if you've, you've probably been there yourself, you played these games back in the day, you've taken on Robotnik, or whatever, and you've only got one ring left. <laughs> You're doing everything you can to keep on to that ring. 
Intense stuff, man. Intense stuff. I can't remember any of the names of these uh, enemies. I really can't. Go on, let's have another crack at uh, another Chaos Emerald. Let's have two Chaos Emeralds. I loved them. Um, Sonic 2, what were the bonus stage in those? That was like, it was like the 3D thing, weren't it? That was really impressive back then, you know, when you went down that tunnel slide thing, whatever it was. You had to avoid the bombs and get the rings to get to the next bit. Oh, girl, look at all these blocks. We've got a break. Oh, my God. It's just mental, is this thing? It's mental. Stop turning. <laughs> oh, my God. Sonic, uh, Sonic 3, they had the 3D one as well, didn't they? And Sonic and Knuckles, where you had to get the, um, the, was it the blue spheres and watch out for the red ones? That could be intense shit as well. Oh, did this get another extra life? Where, I can't remember, where, where were they? Where, where's the, where, 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 oh, God! Oh, man! Right, I know where the, uh, thing is, it's there. Oh, this could be it if I can break these before. Why am I bouncing? <laughs> How close is this? I've nearly fallen into that thing. Oh, I'm going. I just. I am the worst. I may be the worst person in the world at these bonus stages. Good God Almighty. I can't get to the. No! No! I imagine I probably would have thrown a controller or two back in the day. I could get very angry as a kid. God damn you, boss. I think I should just be happy I've got one emerald, you know what I mean? I think it'll drive me insane. Oh god, what am I doing? That was ridiculous. I'm actually gonna do better than that. Da -da -da, da -da -da. I actually forgot what is the boss at the end of this. Oh, I absolutely! I think my favourite bit of music in this game has to be the final boss music in the final stage. You know, when Robotnik's trying to crush you with those things. Oh, that's good. That is so good. To be honest, I think I'll probably do um, every Sonic in this series. I imagine. Well, you know, every the old school Sonics. Why not? Eh? Sorry, I can't help it. I'm really sorry. But it's probably quite annoying. That's probably the best way to take care of those guys, because they've got spikes in them. you sort of got, like, if you want to jump on them, you got to, like, land right on their head. Can be a bit tricky to pull off. Do we have any secret? No, we don't. Okay. What actually came first? Was this the first ever Sonic game, or did the Master System game come first? I can't remember. I know the Master System came before the Mega Drive, but I'm just wondering if which Sonic came first. I have played the Master System version, but never beat it. This is a far superior game to that. I mean, Sonic was just all the rage back then, weren't it? Do you know what I mean? Did anyone ever go to Sega World? I went to the one in London in 1997. That was the best place I'd ever been as a kid. It was heaven. There was just gaming everywhere. Just Sonic games. The first time I played Sonic the Fighters. Sonic merchandise. It was amazing. I think Sega had their own worlds. And now Sega is just nothing. But a... Mostly a joke of a company. How sad. It used to be Sega versus Nintendo. Not Sony versus Microsoft. The good old days. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fireballs everywhere. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. I definitely know what my least favourite zone in this game is. Labyrinth. Oh, that is horrible. Underwater. Oh, it's the worst. I've never been a fan of underwater levels in any game, but Labyrinth is just a nightmare. It's not fun. I actually didn't mind, uh, what's it called in Sonic 3? Is it Hyd Hydro City, I think? That's alright. That's kind of fun. So I guess you're not entirely underwater in that one, though, are you? 
Here we go, this is what I used to get stuck at. I think it's this. I could never jump on these things! I mean, again, look at it. It's, it's, what's hard about this? I think I used to always, I used to have a miss jumping on these things. Or I used to get hit by the spikes. And, you know, they'd knock me down below. And, I don't know if that ever happened. Probably did. <laughs> oh, I've got one ringlet. Oh, no, here we go. Ah, okay, right. I've just remembered what the actual uh, boss fight is. Yeah, he's going to come, uh... Yeah, he, he shoots uh, fire down on these platforms. So you got to wait for it to go before you jump over. Again, very, very easy. Just like that, he's done. Alright, yeah, my buddies are freed again. Well, there you go. I think that's going to do it for this first episode. So this has been Retro Sunday, Episode 1, Sonic the Hedgehog. So I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, Spring Yard Zone. Oh, this drove me insane as a kid. Anyway, guys, see you later.